vlog number 19. We're gonna make some things today. I have a um, I have a CD compact disc that's gonna go out. Yeah. Yeah, you can come down. I have a, a cassette that I'm going to be making from scratch and a compact disc that I'm going to be making from scratch. And so I'm going to document it. I'm, I'm vlogging. Okay. So we'll get started on that stuff right now. Okay, so I didn't get started last night. Camille interrupted and then I ended up going on Instagram live and uh, playing organ for a bit. So anybody that tuned in was probably bored to tears and jumped right off. Um, but so today I'm trying again and um, we're going to start with the cassette. Okay, okay. I've got a J card planned out and I did a sketch in my sketchbook and then um, this is I'm kind of redoing the one that's now out of print um, somebody was really interested in getting a copy of it and who am I to deny them um, some some more red pants so uh, so we're doing the Fallen Hills and Westward EPs um, and I am using exact cardstock I get this is one of the questions I get a lot is um, what kind of cardstock do I use for J cards so this is uh, this is what I use 65 pound um, a sort of like matte finish cardstock and it's great so I've got the sketch and we're gonna take we're gonna use some tra tracing paper uh, I figure I should probably just like have this ready to go if somebody else ever wants another one of these. I have a few more of the tapes that I made the second edition on and um, so if anybody wants one just holler and we'll make it happen. Okay so tracing paper, trace the image and you want to trace it on both sides so you can transfer it to your J card. So you're gonna take your J card basically rub it with anything um, and then the graphite will appear on the card underneath. And so we're gonna take a moment to stop and I'm gonna draw it, I'm gonna transfer it and draw it out how I want it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so bringing you up to date, I've got the J card drawn out, and I went ahead and did the Guillaume and uh, Tammy from Customized mix Mixtapes uh, way of doing things with the, this is probably going backwards, isn't it? Um, doing the typewriter for the, for the liner notes. And let's see here, I need to, before I do anything else, I need to make sure this thing is gonna fit. There we go. So it's gonna fit. You want to make sure it's gonna fit into your uh, into your case. Otherwise, you need to just chop it down a little bit more. Um, kept it pretty simple. I may add some color in here. I'm not quite sure yet. Sort of flying by the seat of my pants here. Okay. Um, now we're gonna do some creases for the the fold. So this is called a scoring board, and this is another thing that. I get asked a lot about. Um, I got this on Amazon. It may be hard to get right now because things are crazy, but it makes this uh, process so easy. Um, you just want to give yourself like a little quarter inch space for the spine.
And then it just turns into such an easy thing to fold. Just like that. Now I think we'll put, um, put some typing in here also. For the tape, I'm going to do something totally different that I've wanted to try for a while. Uh, I discovered somebody on Instagram and I don't remember, I don't know how to pronounce the name and I don't even remember what it was, but I will find their Instagram and link it in the comments as well or down below in the description as well. Uh, so they use these Posca paint pens on their tapes and they had done really cool things with them and I thought for sure that it's a water-based uh, paint pen that they would just rub right off and they told me um, over Instagram that they sand sand a layer like down a little bit and then supposedly it stays on without any problems so I'm gonna try that I got I got a little bit of sandpaper and uh, we're gonna see what happens how it makes it Terrible looking. This might be abandoned immediately. And hopefully, like once you once you sort of color over it or something, it'll look cool. But okay, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't film this, and I'll come back. Again, um, I'm just not super satisfied um, with this. Maybe I just didn't sand it well enough, but well, maybe I am satisfied. Yeah, I thought for sure it was like coming off. Maybe this side just wasn't dry. I don't know. This side seems all right. So, this is what I got. I kind of repeated this little thing here over here I don't know I don't know if I like it I think I might just go with a normal tape and then I'll just use this to record four track or something with I don't know I'm gonna think about it and report back <laughs> I did, I did something a little simpler and I think I like it a lot better than what I had and I think I'm going to go with it. Um, I would say that if um, I would never do 25 copies or 50 copies, this is sort of, um, I mean it's time consuming but it's not fun time consuming, like I'm not not really into sanding things so so um while this is cool i think um yeah i just wouldn't i wouldn't do it for a full run of tapes for painted blonde or something so i think i might take you through the process i think i'm still going to stamp this and hopefully it looks okay um maybe i'll test it on my bad tape over there before 
we go for it, but um, I'm sure yellow, red, and black will go together. So let me get the ink out and the stamps out and we'll be right back. So the ink I use is called Stazon. It's S-T-A-Z-O-N. Just like doesn't come off. If you mess up, then you need, you need their cleaner to get it off. That's how, um, that's how much it stays on. I'm gonna go for it and hope that I don't mess up. Um, this ink pad might be dead. Let's see here. I think it'll work. I just found this ink pad and it fallen back behind the desk. So I'm trying to use up every last bit. Let's see how this looks on here on this. This is the test one. I think it looks great. Okay, let's move forward. I think this is dry. Get it nice and as much, there's not a lot of ink left on here, but I'm gonna get as much as I can on there. All right, and I just sort of eyeball this and press and hold for a sec. Lift it up, there we go, cool. All right, this is side A, which is has the Westward EP on it and a bonus track, I think. Let's see here. Oh, kind of slanted. Sorry. No redos on this one. Okay. Side B. Okay. Fallen Hills, side B. I'm trying to make it straighter. I don't know what happened last time. Okay. One, two. Done. Maybe I'll put the Paint of Blonde logo on there too. This thing has seen a lot of use. It might be time for another one. Okay. got my old iPod set up to go into the tape deck. Um, don't forget, where is it? You got to advance that leader. Um, I'm, I'm going to say, uh, if you want more specifics on this stuff, this part, go to Mike, Mike's channel at 424 Recording. He has like a gigantic series that he put together on DIY tapes. He just did another video which kind of has inspired this. Also shout out to Guillaume's art making on his new album, his tape, um, which has also sort of inspired this vlog happening. Um, but definitely go to both of their channels and check out what they do. Um, but this is what I do. I got several tape decks and several iPods and I do them all individually. So, kind of just got to press record here and get the volume turned up to where it's like pretty loud. I like to go in between like, like three and five. Um, it seems to do pretty good. I'm not too worried about it being, I mean, especially this tape is pretty lo-fi recording so I think it will be great one more thing I accidentally ordered tabs on this tape so I don't have to cover them but you know you got to cover those things if, uh, if you don't have them covered already okay hit hit record hit play And we're going. Next up, I'm going to get ready to make a compact disc. A compact disc. Um, if you support me on Patreon, $3 or more, you get music, lots of music. Well, even a dollar, you're getting, I'm posting like downloads all the time. 
This video is sponsored by Aaron, who has jumped up on the Patreon. Thank you, Aaron. If you do $3 or more, you get a uh, cassette or a download of the music I've put out like in that year uh, sent to you. And asked if you wanted to do a cassette or a CD, and he went for a CD. So we're going to make a CD. So here we go. Okay, I've done a couple of these for family and friends um, that like CDs. Um, so I use this art paper. It's super heavy, 96 pound, and it is a beautiful thing. Essentially what we do is we get a piece of this, and this is, this is my old project, Elton Fun, and these things I bought off of Amazon years ago. But I basically use this as a template, cut it out, do some artwork on it, send it out. Simple as that. Stewart. I don't think she's endorsed this, but we're going to use our little scoring board. Try to eyeball this up as best we can. Let's see here. Maybe I should actually kind of put this up here. Okay, there's one. <laughs> with doing things so DIY I guess so we're gonna use some double-sided tape here go ahead and close it up hopefully I might have put that up there too high. Okay. Can I give this a better fold, I guess? Let's use some brute force. Okay, to bring you up to speed, 
Here was the J card. It was looking great, I thought. And then I noticed I forgot a song title in there. Guillaume, I don't know how you do this for like 25 tapes. It's crazy. I do one and I mess it up. We're back and we're we're doing another one and I gotta retype the, the notes. And then also um, the, I'm working on the, on the, CD still. We took a, I took a break. We went for a bike ride um, with the kids and this is coming along although I screwed up and started to write the last song first so I'm gonna do a little um, collage over that to cover that up. I'm not gonna start all over on this so we'll be back. Okay, and we're back. Um, thank you for watching this far. This is very a very long video, as it turns out. I got up early this morning and started editing and realized it's already at 20 minutes. So we're just going to wrap it up here and, um, and say goodbye. But first, I'll show you the finished products. Okay, let's go to the overhead. And here it is. Here it is. Um, here it is. Uh, once again, the sanding and the paint pen turned out looking great. I, I really like how it looks, um, especially this side. I think that looks cool. Um, but yeah, I, don't, I just, I don't think I would do it for a full run. Maybe if I had different sandpaper or a different utensil to really kind of sand off that, uh, the slick plastic, then that might help. But yeah, it was just kind of a chore. I really had to really get in there and uh, put some uh, muscle behind the sanding. So, and then I think the J card turned out well as well. It turned out good. So that's how, it, that's how it ended up looking. And it got everything, I think, typed out correctly. Didn't forget any songs. Moving on to the CD. I used my old uh, 2008 MacBook Pro, which still has a CD burner working in it, and um, to make this, well, I had a, a spread of pages from National Geographic here, and um, ended up cutting out some clouds, and also this this little guy. So it ended up. I've been doing these daily zines. I don't know how I ended up doing them daily, but I've been doing it daily. So I ended up using a lot of the spread for it, for today's little zine. Um, pretty fun, pretty fun stuff. So, all right, so it's got the little, I've got extra lyric books from the tape to throw in. And we've got the album with some nice little snowy stamps. And then um, I did a live stream last week on Instagram and I tried to record it but I failed at recording it so after we put the kids to bed I recorded it again and I will post that soon I just gotta chop up the videos and match them up to the audio but I have the audio and it's a run through of Distortion and Snow so I'm throwing that in as like the deluxe bonus edition disc and it's a little handmade paper zine type thing that is also going in there this is like the super duper deluxe um, 10 year anniversary edition, but um, it's like, what is it? I don't know, nine, ten months. So that's it. It's got a little spine there, and yeah, okay. That's it for this video. If you made it this far in the video, um, thank you. Thanks for watching. And we're going to end it with a uh, a little jam that I tried to record last night and I'll show you how that went um, right right now. <laughs>